Hey guys, welcome to another add-on demonstration for Anki. In this episode we will be covering a new add-on which allows you to insert lists and sequences of information into your cards with a special tag syntax. Now this is a pretty advanced um, type of add-on which has a lot of uh, customizability with it. The tag syntax is pretty advanced. So for that reason I just wanted to start off with a number of examples and use cases just to demonstrate what this add-on is all about. So in some instances when creating Anki cards you might want to have some kind of randomization between different elements. For instance if you're using Anki to just uh, train yourself in algebra or any other math subject it might make sense to have the values of each of these numbers be randomly assigned anytime you see the card because you don't really want to memorize the actual formula but rather memorize or rather train yourself in actually solving the problem. And with the sequence inserter add-on this can accomplish pretty easily. So to demonstrate this I will go back into the um, deck overview scheme screen if, and if I now move back into the review you'll see that these update these values have now been updated and uh, randomly assigned a different value. Now how does this work under the hood? Well if we go into the editing screen that this you'll see that this um, card here uses a special tag syntax which defines a um, random assignment of an integer at that specific position in the card. And this is pretty much what the add-on does. It allows you to create tags like this which define a list item that can either be randomly inserted or sequentially inserted. And there is a lot of customizability to this as I've said before. You can uh, use different tag types, different sources of information, different samples and um, there's just a lot of flexibility in this. So let's go back and look at a different use case like this one. Uh, here once again we have a number of uh, a number of items which are part of a list this list here is called COM for commutativity. Um, I will later demonstrate how exactly you can define these types of lists where the items aren't um, actually defined in line inside the field but rather defined in an external configuration file. But for now you'll what you have to know is that anytime you use this uh, set type of tag then that means that the add-on will assign a random value to that specific tag while avoiding duplicates and uh, duplicates with any other instance of that tag. So in this case this tab tag here the uh, or rather this item source the this list um, which is called com only comes with two different items which is 4 by 5 and 5 by 4 and um, by using this type of tag the set tag we make sure that anytime we look at the card um, neither of these are duplicates of these are the are each other so that we make sure that each of these values are unique so this is one type of tag you can insert with this add-on where each item or rather where each tag instance is replaced with a unique item of that list the item is still randomly assigned but it's drawn from a list and taken out of that random draw for the next draw so that you can always make sure that for each inserted tag you're only presented with a a new item. Well, you always present with a new unique item drawn from that specific item collection. Now, I know all of this is pretty abstract, but I think it will be much clearer uh, later on when I explain how these collections actually work, how you can define them. Okay, so this is a different example where instead of using a um, an, a text as the value of the tag, we use an image. And as you can see, as I go back and forth between the overview screen and the actual review you'll see that the image is randomly assigned. And if we look into the actual code, you'll see that this works in the same way as the examples before, just that instead of using a um, text as the different, as the different uh, types of values the um, tag sequence can take, we use a image. We just use a HTML sequence to insert an image at that position. So um, yeah, so the add-on also supports images, so you can use this to just present the user with a custom or with a randomly assigned image, which can be useful in some cases. For instance, in um, 
for instance in pathology and medicine for instance there are uh, you might want to just insert different numbers of um, histopathological images which all demonstrate the same disease and then when you look at that card you don't train you don't memorize the image directly but rather you train yourself in identifying the patterns which define that disease so anytime you have a random assignment like this it can help you just not memorize that specific case but rather um, a more general um, just rather nurture a more general understanding of the actual um, the actual information okay moving on let's look at this example um, right here we have the ability also we, we showcase the ability that you can also um, pick a specific item in a collection so here we have set up the peri periodic table collection in an external configuration file and if we now use the index 12 we can pick that specific item from that collection so for instance in this case magnesium R13 for aluminium okay so this right here is a different a use case where you can uh, actually see how the add-on can be used um, also inside of templates inside of card templates so uh, the idea here let's change this to a different number so that this is this actually works better okay so there we go so um, the idea here is that you can also insert these tags inside of your card templates for instance here we have the same case as before we have that pick tag that picks a number of items from the um, periodic table collection and um, you can see that there are quite a few ways you can use this in this case for instance we have a no type with just one field on it where we just have to supply the atomic number of a specific element and um, if we supply that number you'll see then in the cards then that on the front page we're prompted to identify which num which um, element this number here corresponds to and to make it easier in order not to have to type that element actually in into, your, into our notes we just use a sequence tag back here which picks that specific number outside out of the periodic table and uh, inserts that name that element name on the back of your cards so once again this is just an example and I'm sure there are other cases where this might make more sense to use but uh, this was just to demonstrate that you can also use these sequence tags on your card templates okay so this the same example just vice versa so here we have an example where we're using um, where we are insert, inserting a certain number of characters outside of the Kyrillic alphabet and um, this is to demonstrate first of all that you can insert multiple items at once so in this case we're inserting five items which are comma separated this uh, delimiter the comma can also be customized and this is also to demonstrate that the add-on supports Unicode so special characters and characters of other languages are also supported when inserting these uh, sequences okay so this here will probably be difficult to um, to hear right now because I don't have the line in uh, um, direct to the microphone but uh, the line out I mean to the microphone but the idea here uh, is to demonstrate that this add-on also supports um, randomly assigning different um, sound samples so in this case we have multiple pieces from uh, Johann Sebastian Bach and anytime we view this specific card we will be presented with uh, a different sound sample which again can be useful and just um, just training you not for that sp for one specific um, item for one specific sound sample but rather um, nurturing a general understanding of the topic this could also be useful for um, language learners just inserting multiple different variations of a pronunciation for instance okay so let's move on this here um, is uh, demonstrating first of all that um, these items here are always unique so this again uses that set tag in the background where you're randomly drawing from a set of items but uh, you are making also making sure that you're on uh, only drawing unique items so any item that is drawn out of that collection uh, will be will not be available for the other sequences and um, what I also like to demonstrate here is that you can actually use a simplified syntax and um, these are called subsequence tags the way you define them is documented in the uh, 
in the add-on description so make sure to read up on that if you'd like to use this type of syntax which I think is much easier to use if you, there are tags you'd like to use again and again okay so here we can see that um, there is also um, complete freedom and how you delimit multiple items so right here what we have is a number of uh, a number of items which we defined in line so a list of these all of these strings and we instruct pretty much we instructing the tag uh, the add-on here to draw a unique item out of that sequence randomly again this is the set um, tag so that's what uh, this does it's a random draw but still unique and we also instruct it to draw four items at once and delimit it with this right here which is a line break so if we look at this we'll see that the items are now separated by a line break two line breaks actually and uh, going back and forth between this between the overview and the actual card you'll see that these items are now uh, randomized okay so another example here uh, to showcase the randomization uh, here we have different types of soda defined as a tag and uh, anytime we switch back and forth and look at the card again we'll see that we're presented with a different um, different kind of soda and as you can see the tags also support HTML syntax so you can also use this to color your items or format them in any other way you'd like um, this here also presents also demonstrates a new type of tag which is called our set which stands for randomized set the difference from the regular set is that you uh, don't draw the items uniquely so anytime you draw you have a completely independent draw a new draw so multiple um, multiple instances of the same um, string can be available on your on your nodes so it's just a completely random draw you draw again and again randomly so that's what I like what I wanted to demonstrate in here and um, of course here uh, this um, card also demonstrates the difference demonstrates the uh, difference between the R set tag and the set tag if you use the R set tag you can use this as many times as you as you'd like it's just an arbitrary number of um, sequence insertions insertions here uh, this does not apply to the set tag because as we if we recall the set tag is unique so you can only use this as many times as there are items in that specific uh, sequence and that specific collection so in this case we have three different types of soda so if we use the tag one two three four times then the first three times we will be presented with the uh, different types of soda and the last time we will get an error message which um, or which uh, informs us that we are using the tag um, we used the tag too many times for there to be any more unique items left to be inserted okay that's as far as that's concerned this here is a um, an advanced an even more advanced tag which is called our pick you can't see it right here because we're using this um, shorthand this type of subsequence I call this or we call this um, where the uh, this uh, sequence here this tag here stands for an actual sequence uh, behind it but um, yeah this uses a different tag where you're uh, pretty much randomizing an, a list of items and then drawing a specific index out of that list and that randomi randomization only occurs once per node or rather runs once per card viewing so that you can refer to different um, index items in that randomized list um, reliably so for instance here we have um, a reference to the first three items of that list then the a reference to the items two three and four of that list and here we have a reference to the first item and as you can see all of these are randomized but still they are always um, pointing to that specific index inside the randomized list so that we can reference the for instance the magenta color twice on that card even though the actual list is randomized so that anytime we see the card there will be a first as different first item and last item but these will always be the same that's the, the point of this type of tag syntax okay and this um, example here is to demonstrate first of all that the add-on is also, also compatible with latex so um, any sequences you insert inside of latex tags will also be transformed and um, 
This is also a different type of tag, a sequence tag. Again, you can't see it here because it's using that shorthand syntax. But um, when using the sequence tag, you will always insert the order in uh, the, the items in a given order. So the order you define the items is the order they will be inserted as uh, for each subsequent um, instance of that specific uh, tag. Okay, and this here is just a last example to showcase that you can also, um, when generating random integers, for instance, you can also define a custom uh, custom range to draw the items from. Okay, so this, as far as the um, showcases are concerned, uh, all of this might be a bit uh, uh, op opaque. I think uh, might be a bit might sound a bit complex. Um, if you'd like to understand how to actually uh, format or how to actually formulate these uh, different tags, I sh you should definitely check out this document right here, which is the actual sequence um, uh, syntax specification and. It's not too long, but it's still there's still quite a few features explained here, so definitely definitely worth um, checking out. And this goes um, over all of the different tag types you can insert, all of the different variations of this syntax, how you can use external collections, how you can define items outside of Anki and then use them within Anki uh, randomly, how you can use generators to generate random numbers, different um, integers or floats and um, also how you can use subsequence tags to refer, refer to a specific sequence as a shorthand. And um, that's, that's the first part of the documentation and the other part of the documentation which goes over how you can specifically create these external items, these external lists and sequences. This is located in the um, add-on directory under colds.pi and this file will be created when first installing the add-on and is specific to your user. So you, any modifications you perform in that file, any custom lists or collections you might define will, preserve, will be preserved across different um, add-on updates and installations. And as you'll see, this um, file is um, pretty heavily commented. There is just there's a lot of inline documentation here explaining exactly how you can define different items, how you can define different sequences and collections, etc. So, for instance, if we recall, we had the uh, periodic table collection at one point inside um, our demonstration. And as you can see, this is how you would define it, just a, a standard Python list. So um, you have items which are separated by a comma, and for strings, um, they are also quoted. So that's how this works. And uh, you would just, if you wanted to define a, s a list like this, you would just have to format this in this way and then refer to it in the collections dictionary down here. So yeah, uh, once again, this might be a bit overwhelming just like this and uh, I don't think um, it would be a good, a good idea to go th over the entire uh, syntax in this video by, but um, yeah, if you want to know how this works exactly, make sure to check out the um, repository on GitHub where I go over the different syntax variations and all of the other ways you can actually use the add-on. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration. I hope this was useful, even though it might have been a bit, uh, as I said, a bit opaque. Um, I hope you will check back in for one of my next videos. Until then, I wish you good luck in your studies and goodbye.